How are you feeling, Mom? I know it must be a lot to finally be here. Well, I'm okay. A little anxious for surgery, obviously. I hope everything turns out okay. But I am excited to get this done. I'm so glad you're here with me. <sighs> me too. Well, I'm gonna use the bathroom really quickly. Hopefully I don't miss the surgeon. Alice. Zeichon Fonte, Dora Shu, Doran Fornell. Don't tell LA Come Shu. I'm sorry, but do you speak English? Uh, don't tell LA Come Shu. No, I, I'm not hungry. Is, is there anybody here who speaks English? Nailas, Ilaban der Fornesh. Is on the bon? Oh, hello, Alice. Oh, yes. Is on the tish. Oh, la mahosian. A sincerely bon. E you are you free? Lama Vosesh is Ponteshu. Zai Pomenja, Zonin Stau, Zai Iro El Dante. Kyu Zai Samo, Zai Punjo to the Sin. Nay, it's a boy. It's a Ponteshu. Ow! Panfanemo? Pen? Pen? Ellis, El Bayo Anashiosa. Zai Pum Son, Ponadisho, Mon Nish. Is everything okay? Oh, push on. Never surgery cause pain. All right, as I know, major course? No, zero on el complédant. Zero on final be prochain. Nearly half a million UC San Diego health patients need language assistance when receiving medical care. For limited English proficient patients, working with medically trained interpreters can save lives. Here at UC San Diego Health, language matters. We are fortunate to serve a diverse patient population in Southern California, where over one third of households speak a non-English language. In order to provide world-class healthcare, we know it is essential to communicate effectively, to obtain accurate information, and be able to appropriately inform our patients, their families, and our care teams. We are fortunate to have access to interpreter services around the clock to support our healthcare providers and our patients in communicating effectively. The video you just watched allows you to imagine what it might feel like if care providers were unable to communicate with their patients. With appropriate use of interpreter services, we can eliminate language barriers and help our patients feel connected, safe, and informed during each and every encounter. The following video will help you understand the importance of utilizing a qualified medical interpreter to promote patient safety at UC San Diego Health. As the only academic medical center in San Diego, San Diego County, and the broader San Diego region, our mission is to deliver outstanding patient care to our community. Over a third of residents in San Diego County speak a language other than English at home and more than three-fourths in Imperial County. Interpreter Services is honored to support our commitment to our community by ensuring that you can access language services around the clock for each and every one of our linguistically diverse patients. When patients identify as limited English proficient, also known as LEP, this means they have limited ability to speak, read, write, or understand the English language. We as healthcare professionals are required by federal and California state law to provide LEP patients access to language and interpreter services. In fact, Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964 mandates that we provide a qualified medical interpreter free of cost. It is illegal and a form of discrimination to speak to LEP patients without an interpreter for medical conversations. Consistently having an interpreter available allows LEP patients to be informed, ask questions, receive assurance, and be an active participant in their care and what is happening to their bodies. Utilizing medical interpreters is a matter of quality and patient safety. The LEP, Limited English Proficiency, patient population is at an increased risk of sepsis, hospital-acquired infection, 
readmission, prolonged length of stay, falls, pressure ulcers, and being lost to follow-up. To prevent inadvertent errors for LEP patients, we must use qualified medical interpreters for any encounter in which we are asking for medical information, such as during the intake process, when obtaining a medical history or performing a physical examination, or reviewing medications, or any encounter in which we are giving medical information, such as explaining a diagnosis, offering instructions for treatment, discharge planning, and obtaining informed consent for procedures or surgeries. In addition, interpreters must be used during procedures in which the patient is awake, such as regional anesthesia or even removing a surgical drain. And of course, in any medical scenario, interpreters should be used to answer questions a patient might have. Hi, Mrs. Tobar. It's nice to see you today. So you've been having some pain in your feet, is that right? Yes, I have pain. My feet hurt when Le puede decir al doctor que mis pies y mis piernas me duelen al caminar y últimamente se están empeorando. También me sucede al acostarme y últimamente no me deja dormir. Hi, doctor. She says that her feet have been aching and they're hurting more when she lies down and she can't sleep. Okay. Thank you for being here. It's really helpful. Um, that sounds really bothersome. So they ache and it keeps you from sleeping. Can you describe that a little bit more? Is it more of a stiff and swollen feeling at the end of the day or more of a burning sensation? ¿Sientes que tus pies están tiesos, hinchados? No, hoy no están hinchados. No, her feet don't feel swollen today. Okay, that's not quite what I meant. I meant more if you walk, do they get stiff and swollen at the end of the day if you walk a lot, or is it more of a burning sensation? Um. The use of untrained persons to interpret medical information can compromise patient care. As such, we are prohibited from using family members, minors, untrained bilingual providers, law enforcement officials, other patients, or strangers as interpreters, barring extreme circumstances. As we saw in the previous scene, even with the best of intentions, the use of untrained persons to interpret may result in confusion and misinterpretation, as untrained individuals may not know the correct medical terminology. Foregoing qualified interpretation may lead to additions, omissions, or inadvertent changes in the meaning of spoken word. Family members may be reluctant to disclose sensitive information. In addition, it may also be traumatizing for a relative to be forced to convey difficult news, which is why the state of California strictly prohibits the use of minors as medical interpreters. Many of us in the healthcare community may have experienced being asked to interpret for a loved one and know how difficult that can be. It is our job as providers and staff to proactively avoid putting anyone in an uncomfortable or potentially harmful situation. Let's see how the scene you just saw would have turned out if a qualified medical interpreter was used. Hi, Mrs. Tobar, it's nice to see you today. So you're having some pain in your feet, is that right? Hola, señora Tobar. Qué gusto en verla hoy. Su se ha estado con unos dolores en su pies. ¿Es correcto? Sí, así es. Tengo dolor en mis piernas y en mis pies. Y últimamente, son como calambres. Y últimamente se ha estado empeorando. Y en las noches, al acostarme, no me dejan dormir. Yes, doctor. When I'm walking, my feet and my legs start to hurt and ache in cramps. It's been getting worse. And now, when I go and lie down, it does not allow me to sleep. Okay, so the pain starts when you're walking. How far can you walk before the pain starts? So parece ser que el dolor comienza cuando usted camina. ¿Cuánto puede caminar antes de que comience el dolor? Así es, para serle honesta, no puedo llegar muy lejos. Me duele mmm, cuando camino a cualquier parte, caminando a la entrada del, del estacionamiento y subiendo las escaleras. La verdad, me molesta mucho y por eso vine hoy. Yes, that's right. Now, to be honest, it hurts when I walk anywhere. I cannot go very far. It hurts when I go down the driveway or if I'm walking up the stairs. Um, it really bothers me a lot. That's why I came in today. 
Okay. And you said before that this also happens when you lie down and keeps you from sleeping. Is that right? Y usted dijo anteriormente que esto sucede también cuando se acuesta. Le impide dormir. ¿Es correcto? Sí, así es. Yes, yes. That's how it is. Okay. I think I have some ideas about what's going on, but I'd like to do an exam and confirm with some tests. Creo que tengo unas ideas sobre la causa de esto, pero tengo que hacer unos exámenes para confirmarlo. Está bien. Muchas gracias. That will be fine. Thank you. You're welcome. Hola. Interpreting Services thanks you for watching this video and caring for our patients. Working at UC San Diego Health, you have access to language and interpreting services 24-7, 365. There are multiple modalities of communicating with LEP patients using in-person, video, and telephone interpreters, including during a telehealth encounter, so you don't have to rely on high school language courses. If you can say, ¿Dónde está el baño? ¿Y tienes dolor? You might be ready for a vacation, but not to interpret for our patients. Qualified medical interpreters receive special training in medical terminology and follow uniform protocols and ethical codes. Training interpreters respect patient privacy and confidentiality and do not paraphrase, omit, add, or otherwise alter the meaning of words. As trained interpreters, we can also act as cultural liaisons, communicating meaning beyond language. While interpreters lower the risk of medical malpractice, more importantly, they improve the patient experience and ultimately patient satisfaction. To make the best use of interpreter services, there are several things a provider can do, such as allow extra time for the visit, begin with an introduction to set the stage, speak directly to the patient, not the interpreter, using the first person, I, and avoid saying he said or tell her. Morning, doctor. I'll be the Spanish interpreter today. Everything in the session will be confidential. Please speak directly to the patient. Hola, señora. Voy a ser su intérprete hoy. Todo lo que hablemos en esta sesión será confidencial. Por favor, diríjase directamente con la doctora. Good morning, Mrs. Torres. It's great to see you today. I'd like us to review your lab results and talk a little bit about a new medication that I'd like to give you. What would you like to talk about today? Buenos días, señora Torres. Gusto en verla hoy. Hoy quisiera eh, repasar los resultados del laboratorio y hablarles sobre un nuevo medicamento. ¿De qué le gustaría a usted hablar el día de hoy? Hola, doctora. Gusto en verla. ¿Podemos también hablar de mi dolor de espalda? Está empeorando. Hi, doctor. Nice to see you. Can we also talk about my back pain? It's been getting worse. Absolutely. We can discuss your back pain after we review some of your... When using interpreters, you should also speak in short sentences and ask only one question at a time, pause frequently to allow time for interpretation, avoid acronyms, jargon, and humor. This often doesn't translate well. And use the teach back or show me technique to ensure patient comprehension. I want to make sure I've explained everything clearly. Could you repeat back the medication and how you will take it? Quiero asegurarme que le expliqué todo muy claramente. ¿Me podría decir cómo se va a tomar este medicamento? Sí. Usted dijo que tomara este nuevo medicamento de 25 miligramos en la mañana después del desayuno. Yes, you said to take this new pill, 25 milligrams, every morning with breakfast. Wonderful, thank you. Perfecto, muchas gracias. Um, hi, Dr. Sidapati, this is the interpreter. Just a quick reminder, we haven't talked about the back pain the patient initially mentioned. Eh, señora Torres, le acabo de mencionar a la doctora Sidapati que no hemos hablado sobre su dolor de espalda que inicialmente mencionó. Oh, yes, thank you. Mrs. Torres, could you... As highlighted in this video, interpreters can serve many roles and can be particularly important during a telehealth encounter. They can serve as cultural liaisons and can help improve communication by pointing out areas for clarification. Visit the Interpreter Services website on Pulse to ensure that you know how to access interpreters during virtual patient care 
a service that we are proud to offer at UC San Diego Health. Are you a bilingual provider or staff member? We value the service you're able to provide to our LEP patient population. If you are fluent in one or more non-English languages, we invite and encourage you to obtain official certification to speak directly to our patients in your specific language. It is important to note that speaking and interpreting are separate skills, and untrained bilingual providers should not be asked to interpret medical information for their colleagues. Learn more from our website by searching for LPA on Pulse. We have an opportunity to assist our patients every single day by verifying whether a patient identifies as limited English proficiency prior to each and every encounter. Registration and scheduling staff can confirm our patient's preferred language and preferred dialect when making appointments or upon arrival. Our frontline providers can be prepared to serve in a timely fashion by looking at the preferred language in the EPIC storyboard to help you prepare for the visit. Utilizing qualified medical interpreters can have a profound impact on the healthcare we deliver to our diverse patient population. It can also enhance the way our limited English proficiency patients feel while receiving care within our doors. Thank you for watching this video and thank you for serving our mission to deliver outstanding patient care through commitment to the community, groundbreaking research, and inspired teaching.